Hey guys, Mega Mitch here. I know I said that I gave up vlogging on this channel, but want more Dialga and Porky's loud adventures. Well, that was weird. Dialga and Porky loud adventures. Oh dear God, I'm too young to die. So based on that, I'm essentially guessing that you guys really like Dialga and Palkia. because there's a really high demand for it. I will be making more Pokemon parodies in the future, just not specifically at right this second, as Uni's kind of kicking my ass. Believe me, it is surprising and actually a huge honour that so many people want more, and it's funny to think that it's based on a script that me and a couple of friends made, based on an in-joke from the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon video game that stayed lying on my desktop for so many years collecting dust before I even did anything with it. Due to the amount of comments I've been getting about Diogra and Palkia, my original intention going into the new year was to make a new episode every single month, but then other projects kinda got in the way. Trust me, you guys are going to be getting an episode 4, an episode 5, possibly an episode 6, it's pretty much a series at this point. And if you stick around to the end of this video, you might get a preview of the next episode. Now for those of you who don't know, I recently changed my, uh, brand, if you want to call it that, from Mitchell00 to Mega Mitch. This was sort of a way to relaunch my channel with a fresh spin, or with a brand new identity, if you will. <laughs> brand. New identity. I'd already been considering taking the numbers out of my username for quite some time, but then I came across the Tomska YouTube video, How To Be A YouTuber, where he explicitly stated not to put numbers into your username because why? Why would you do that? I don't even know. So then I combined my name with my favourite video game franchise and... <whistles> that was that. Am I still animating? Nah, I thought I'd give it up permanently. Of course, I'm kidding, I am still animating. In fact, that's actually the reason why I've been so inactive over the past year. After I stopped doing vlogs and skits and exclusively made my channel, uh, exclusively animations, that's when I started to realise that the YouTube algorithm didn't really benefit me anymore. As some of you may know, I made a vow a couple of years ago that I would make this channel a strictly animation channel. In retrospect, this was a very bad decision. <laughs> Basically, the short short version of this short short story, and a couple of other animators have talked about this before, is that the YouTube algorithm doesn't really cater to short form content anymore. Which is why you've seen a lot of animators on YouTube resort to alternative content, like gaming channels. <laughs> Subscribe. The reason for me quitting vlogs on my main channel and moving them to their own separate channel is I started to realise that my short animated parodies were getting most of the views. But those views are no longer worth the effort that goes into making these sorts of animations. YouTube rewards two things these days, longer videos and frequency of uploads. Being a strictly animation channel would make this very difficult to do at the moment, considering that animation is and always has been a very time consuming process. So making these decisions a couple of years ago at a time when YouTube was rolling out these changes, rewarding minutes watched as opposed to views, was kind of a dumb decision on my part. I currently own three YouTube channels, and if you want me to make sense of them all, uh, I can do it for you right now. This channel, my main channel, Mega Mitch, is where I'm posting from now on video game reviews and still the occasional animation, but mainly it's going to be video game related content and scripted content. My second channel, Mega Mitch Reloaded, is for my vlogs, opinion pieces. Basically, if Mega Mitch is my entertainment channel, then Mega Mitch Reloaded is my personal channel, where I put more of me and not so much video games. <laughs> and then I have a third channel, which is a collaborative effort between myself and two of my friends called Gamer Galaxy. And you guessed it, that's a fucking gaming channel because of course everybody and their mother and their grandmother and their grandfather and their grandfather's dog has a gaming channel. Now you guys are probably wondering where Video Game Freak fits into all of this. Well, Video Game Freak was a show that I started all the way back in 2006 when I first started my YouTube channel when I was a wee little 13 or 14 year old kid. Now I stopped doing the show initially back in 2006, but then I tried rebooting it, or soft rebooting it, all throughout the years, up until the modern day. So you're probably wondering why I decided to bring this back all of a sudden in the past year or so. For me personally, creative inspiration comes in all different forms. See, when I started my YouTube channel, I wanted to do everything, from video game reviews, to cartoons, to skits, to sketches, to parody music videos, to just movie parodies, uh, to the occasional um, YouTube video parody, um, I wanted to talk about news, uh, vl vlog my personal life, you get the idea. But then I started to realise that having such varied content drew people away, and by that I mean YouTubers tend to have a sort of gimmick that they stick to. Now that's not to say that you can't be popular by having a little bit of variety in your content. 
All that's saying is that some of the most popular YouTube channels typically stick to one thing and one thing alone, and that is the thing that they're known for. So I decided to make a show that not only acted as a reboot to my very first YouTube video series ever, but also combined all of the varied types of content that I've done before, from animation, to skits, to reactions, uh, to just review. Video Game Freak is my show where I specifically look over some of the worst or weirdest games ever made, or movies that sort of double as games, or relate to video games in some way, or just bad movies. So the short version of this update, which I sort of got carried away with, is there are two main shows that I'm going to be focusing on on this channel from now on, and that's the Video Game Freak and Dialga and Palkia. I also have a personal channel and I have a gaming channel, so be sure to check those out at your own leisure. Or don't. Doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, I'm not your dad. There's also another show that I want to do which I've been debating for a while, which is more of a story-driven animation. Uh, still related to video games, surprisingly, but sort of original content as well, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if it does. Uh, it would basically be about an original character, a fictional superhero, that lives in a video game world, kind of thing. <laughs> it's really hard to explain, but um, it's sort of an idea that I've had for a couple of years, but I'm not really sure if it's something that you guys want to see. Um, I've been debating it a lot because it would suck to put months and months of effort into a, an animated series only for it to, you know, bomb. <laughs> So yeah, let me know if that's something that you actually want to see. Uh, as always, my name is Mega Mitch, and what you've all been waiting for, the new Dialga and Palkia spin-off, Metapod and Magikarps, mostly silent, not at all talking adventures. Ah!